The brilliant blooms of azaleas with their large jewel-like flower trusses add interest and pizzazz to Northeast Ohio gardens in the spring. Even though they are generally easy to care for, they do require a bit of maintenance to keep them at their prime. Hello, my name is Amy from Dayton Nursery in Norton, Ohio, where we have been propagating and growing rhododendrons and azaleas for the last 40 years. Today we will share our expert tips on caring for these plants once established. Information in this video is also applicable to small leaf lepidote type rhododendrons such as Aglow and PJM. For planting tips, be sure to check out our rhododendron and azalea planting and root wash videos linked below. Azaleas and other blooming evergreen shrubs really benefit from the addition of a fertilizer best suited for acid-loving plants. We highly recommend Espoma's Holly Tone. It is organic and low in salts, plus includes all of the essential nutrients. It also contains Espoma's proprietary formula of beneficial bacteria to help plants establish fast, withstand environmental stress, and promote deeper roots. Plus, it contains almost 2% ammoniacal nitrogen, which turns the product acidic. Hollytone is great for azaleas, plus rhododendron, dogwoods, holly, mountain laurel, blueberries, pieris, bucothoe, and enchianthus. For optimum results, this product should be applied April 1st, May 15th, and again October 1st. For established plants, this fertilizer should be worked into the soil, around the drip line, and then watered in thoroughly. Be sure not to damage shallow surface roots of the plants. Apply one cup per foot of branch spread. For new plantings, Hollytone could be mixed well with the soil and then backfilled into the hole. Use only half of the recommended rate for new plantings. Be sure to water well after application. Also, an application of Iron Plus or Ironite at the recommended rate is helpful as it supplies iron as well as other trace elements. This helps to green up the foliage applied just once per year in the spring. Be sure to only trim azaleas right as the flowers fade on the plant or begin to drop off the plant. They may be trimmed anywhere along the stem to produce new growth. Trimming after July 1st will remove the flower buds formed to create the next season's blooms. Unfortunately, azaleas are a favorite food of lace bugs. Lace bugs cause the foliage to brown or discolor. In severe infestations, the leaves become almost white, many of them drying completely and dropping off. The undersides of the leaves may also show brown spots or an overall brown coloring. So how can you prevent lace bug? You must apply Bonide's systemic insect control at least four times per year on June 1st, June 10th, August 15th, and August 25th as directed. As an alternate, you could also use Bonide's Rose Shield or Fruit Tree and Plant Guard when bees are not present. What if I already have lace bug? If you have not done a preventative spray, apply Bonide's systemic insect spray all over the plant including under the leaves twice, spraying a second time in 10 days. Because of spring pollinators, we do not suggest ever applying insecticide to a plant while in bloom. This is why we suggest to apply the product around June 1st, as most azaleas will be out of bloom. Many insecticides used to control lace bugs could also harm honeybees and other pollinators in the process. Delaying the application until after the plant has bloomed will help lessen the chance of harm on these beneficial insects. When properly planted and cared for, azaleas reward you with years of beauty and enjoyment. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions regarding azaleas, feel free to contact us. 